Hello, this video is the iOS XE Denali 16.3 Migration Made Easy on ASR 1000. If you have followed the migration to Denali 16.2, you have seen that there can be up to 7 steps and a full router reload are required to complete the migration to 16.2 and in the 16.3 we made the migration really easy where there are only two steps required and the single router reload is needed to complete the migration to 16.3 so what we can expect from the hardware support in 16.3 we introduced the ASR1001-HX as the new platforms and we also introduced the ASR1000RP3 as the new route processor in terms of the Ethernet port adapter. Uh, in 16.3 we introduced the EPA CPAC 2x40 gig supported in the modular X chassis with MIP100. The EPA 10 by 10 gig interface also become supported in ASR 1002-HX and the EPA 18 by 1 gig become supported in the modular X chassis with MIP 100 and in the Nali 16.3 you can expect the complete feature parity with iOS XE 3.17 release in terms of the image type for the ASR 1001X and ASR 1002X, there is no change. It used to be universal image in 3.x and it's still going to be universal image in 16.3. The change is in the RP2 based platforms. The RP2 used to be reformation image, now it's becoming the universal image. For example, if you're running ASR 1000 RP2, Dash advanced enterprise K9 image. After migrating to 16.3, you need to run the ASR 1000 RP x86 universal K9 image. In addition to the advanced enterprise license boot level. In terms of the upgrade on the ASR 1001X and ASR 1002X, it requires a minimum run on 15.5 3RS1. To be, a, to be able to load the iOS XE 16.3 image. So if you need upgrade the ROM on anyway, I would recommend you to upgrade to the latest ROM on 16.2.1R, which is backward compatible with iOS XE 3.x images. The ROM on upgrade can be performed on any of the iOS 3.x images with few exceptions listed here. So before the upgrade, get yourself ready for maintenance window and make sure you read the 16.3 Denali migration guide on cisco.com. Optionally, if you're running an older ROMMON version than 15.5 3RS1 on the ASR 1001X and ASR 1002X, you download the 16.21R ROMMON image to the router and download the 16.3 universal image to the router and make a backup of your router configuration. The upgrade procedure on RP2 based system made very simple in 16.3 image. Step number one, modify the boot command. Have the first boot command pointing to the new 16.3 image you want to boot the system up with and have the second boot command pointing to your existing RP2 reformation image. Save the configuration followed by a router reload. Once the system come up, then that is a step number two. All you need to do is just accept the end user level agreement. Modify the boot command, which means if you want, remove the second boot command pointing to your previous 3.x image and save the configuration. It is important to follow our recommendation, have that second boot command because now the system is made intelligent enough to figure out the type of license boot level for the 16.3 image. If you do not follow our recommendation, 
So what you can expect is that you're going to see a license boot level wizard after the router boot up. It's going to ask you to choose one of the three license boot level, either advanced enterprise, advanced IP services, or IP base. After that, you still need to accept the user level agreement. The router will reboot for second time. So by following our recommendation, it's going to save you one router reboot. Now let's do a demonstration. This is an ASR1006. It's running redundant RP2. It is running 3.10.3s image. And I already download the x86 universal k9 16.31 image to the boot flash so we're going to change the boot system boot flash to the new image it is important we have the second boot system command pointing to the existing 3.x image. So when the system boot up, it is intelligent enough to figure out a need to put up the advanced enterprise lessons. Now we save the configuration followed by a router reload. All right, now the system is put up with the 16.31 image. And it is also automatically figured out. It put up the advanced enterprise license. And it asking you to accept the end user level agreement. So type yes. So if you want to do a Verification, you can do a show run, include the license. You can see that uh, the system boot level is advanced enterprise and uh, you already accept the uh, EULA. You cannot remove the second boot command until the standby route processor also coming up online. You also need connect to Standby RP2. The standby RP2 boot up with 16.3.1 image, and it also boot up with the advanced enterprise license boot level, and you need accept the end user level agreement as well. And the system has reached SSO state. And now if you want, uh, we can remove the second boot statement. And save the configuration. And by now, the system has successfully upgraded from 3.10.3 release to 16.3.1 release. Next, let's take a look the upgrade procedure for ASR1001X and ASR1002X. We said if you are running an uh, earlier wrong one than 15.53RS1, then the first step you need to upgrade the wrong one to 16.21R, do a system reload. The second step you install the 16.3 universal image save the config and follow by a second reload. Now let's take a look at the uh, demonstration. This is a uh, ASR1001X. It is running a uh, Roman 15.4 2RS, which means we need upgrade the Roman first. Uh, the system is currently running 3.16.1s image. 
I already pre-download the 16.21R Rongmong and the 16.31 Universal Image to the boot flash. Now let's upgrade the Rongmong. Now we need to reload the router to make the uh, new Rongmong take an effect. Okay, the system is rebooted. Let's do a let's do a show platform. You can tell that uh, the Rongmong has been upgraded to 16.21R. Now we're ready to upgrade the Now we are ready to upgrade the image from 3.16 to 16.3. We change the uh, boot system command pointing to the 16.3.1 universal image. We save the configuration. And reload the box. All right, now the system come up with the 16.3.1 image. And we have successfully upgraded this ASR1001X uh, to the 16.3 image.